mentioned that you, uh, with the ID um, ideas and uh, 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 the strength and weaknesses sort of being closely tied together, you were able to, to take them down at the same time. Of course, the strength and weaknesses part of it sort of found its way into the Texas State Board of Education case, and it still lives on <clears throat> a little bit. It, it, it started there. I mean, that phrase comes from you all. <laughs> yeah, and so it lives on, and it's, uh, we're seeing it in, in uh, the movies with uh, Ben Stein, although his main thing was academic freedom, but mm -hmm. within that academic freedom mm -hmm. was supposed to be uh, teaching the strengths and weaknesses of evolution. Have you gotten to a point where you can anticipate the next tactic coming from the opposition? Can you, can you sort of look ahead and say, okay, I can see where they're coming from now and be prepared before it even kicks off? Uh, certainly the current strategy is go it hasn't been fully played out. These academic freedom laws that are springing up around the country are uh, exploiting this um, uh, denigration of evolution kind of strategy. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a very viable one for them, you know, because creationists think dichotomously, but I think so does the general public. And they believe that there's either creation or evolution. So all you have to do is just disprove evolution and creationism wins by default. And I think that's the way a lot of students will think too. Yeah. And they believe, I, I think that a student coming into a class and hearing that evolution is a lot of junk is going to say, oh, well then God did it. You know, without the teacher even necessarily bringing that in. I sure I mean, wish school was that easy <laughs> when I was in school. So yeah. put God did it on every test paper out of major straight A's. <laughs> yeah. Alas, but um, as far as other strategies, I mean, this is where the, the marbles are in this, you know, circle now. Yeah. Uh, but they might come up, they might try to come up with another iteration, as it were, of special creationism, only this time leave the agent out, so to speak. Um, creation science was really just gussied up biblical literalism, and it didn't take long before that was, you know, everybody could recognize that was a religious view. Intelligent design basically just took the core idea of special creation, which is God creating complicated things, the design argument. And then they tried to waffle on the agent uh, by saying that it doesn't have to be a supernatural agent. You know, could be a material agent. Oh yeah, astronauts from outer space, right? They came in and designed the bacteria flagellum, right? We know that. Um, but it wasn't very credible. Um, they might try to come up with uh, an agent-less form of that same basic special creation idea. Not sure exactly what form that would take. Possibly going back to um, a view presented by Wendell Bird, who was the uh, young lawyer from Yale, who was one of the early strategists back in the 70s of the legal approaches of the uh, creation science movement, and who was responsible for a lot of this idea of equal time uh, for creation science and evolution. Wendell Bird actually is uh, practicing in Atlanta and was one of the, was the lawyer who argued for the uh, Louisiana uh, state in Edwards versus Aguilard. So he's, you know, kind of, he hasn't done much lately, but he's sort of still, still a player. But way back then, uh, in his brief for uh, the um, Edwards versus Aguilard case, uh, he proposed the idea of sudden emergence theory. Now, that was, which is one of my favorite euphemisms, actually. But sudden emergence theory is just looking at the evidence for the uh, sudden emergence of the universe, the sudden emergence of plants and animals. Cambrian explosion is the favorite for that one, yeah. of course. Um, without saying anything about an agent whatsoever. Uh, now, it didn't work with uh, Wendell Bird, but on the other hand, they were really putting all their marbles into creation science at the time. Um, they may try to resurrect that, uh, but of course the problem is there really isn't any positive evidence for the universe, um, all those galaxies and the planetary system and our solar system and everything else. There really isn't any evidence for the galaxies and the solar system and planetary systems and plants and animals just sort of suddenly coming into existence. The evidence that we have shows that the universe has changed gradually over time and that uh, organisms have changed, changed gradually over time, not that um, pine trees and baboons and, and uh, uh, mollusks poofed into existence all at once. So they would have a tough time coming up with a curriculum. 
Uh, but where we would go, go back to, of course, is our old friend, evidence against evolution is evidence for. Mm -hmm. So probably the curriculum for a um, sudden emergence uh, 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 lesson plan would be uh, all the things that are wrong with evolution. Yeah. So um, I, I think that's a long shot right now, I think, for the next several years uh, until there is a uh, until there is a lawsuit uh, over the denigration of evolution strategy, the evidence against evolution strategy. This is what we're going to be facing. Mm -hmm.